Hey now, Steve Sievers for Bionic Buzz. We're at San Diego Comic Con 2019 for Banana Split the Movie. Yep, that crazy horror trailer that's been going around online. We're here with the cast and crew, so let's go see who we can talk to. I'm so excited to talk to you guys. How did this project get green light, you know? <laughs> you know what? This is one of those weird ones that every so often, you know, this like they come to you and they say, hey, we want to do this Banana Split's horror movie. And we said, we get it 100% and they go, great, go, because we got to go, we got to make it now. And that's the most exciting way to make any kind of movie is, you know, you don't have to think too much about it, you just go for it. Was it a long writing process or was it basically like just banged it out? No, it was fast and, and um, you know, we knew that they were gearing up, uh, they were really excited about this idea. And once we uh, talk, like, had a couple conversations with them, we just knew what it was. Um, yeah, and then it just started pouring out. We wrote it very quickly and, and um, they loved it. And next thing we knew, they were in South Africa shooting it. Oh, wow. Yeah. What fun surprises should we uh, kind of expect in this movie? Oh, great question. Yeah. I think that hopefully every one of those kills is a surprise on its own. I don't okay. think I don't think you'll expect where they're coming from. I think each one gets more and more absurd, and there's just no way that you can see what's coming by the end. Yeah, I mean, I think that um, to see sort of um, the banana splits go from these beloved uh, children's show characters to murderers is, is amazing in itself. But kind of where the story goes, how it, how it resolves, what happens at the end, that's, that's the twist. I can't imagine filming this movie must have been a lot of fun and also very terrifying at the same time. It was a lot of fun. Um, there was one scene in particular that was, I can't talk about it because it's a spoiler, but it's okay. a big moment for my character and it, we shot it all day and it involved me jumping off of some crazy things and oh, wow. doing some other crazy things. I can't tell you, you just have to watch the movie. Have you done stunts like that before? I, yeah, I have done stunts in, in different projects. Um, but yeah, there was a moment in this that really had my heart racing, so that was that was fun. Oh wow! Well, yeah, can't wait to see it. Yeah. And it, the response from the trailer online has been really amazing. It has. It's also been mixed. Like it, there are people who are very excited about it, and then there are a few people who are saying, "Why would you do this to my childhood heroes?" <laughs> so I don't know. Sorry, um, but it's fun. It's 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 very fun. I didn't actually watch the show as a kid. I was. I missed it. I yeah. was born out way after. I feel after. like everyone had some kind of show like this on public television wherever they grew up. You know? Totally. You're absolutely right. Yeah, some kind of strange, like if you think back to what you were watching as a kid and you're like, oh, that, that was a weird show that I was watching. I yeah. feel like this might be that for a lot of people. Exactly. Here Bionic Buzz, we're all about people's passions. I want to know where your passion for filmmaking, storytelling kind of came from that made you want to get in the industry. Well, my passion for this came from drawing. I, before I got into as a career as an executive at Warner Brothers, I was an animator and an illustrator and a designer. So that's really where my passion comes from. I've taken that, I've gone to the other side of the field now, yeah. on the other side of the fence, you know, but that's still where my passion lies, you know, and that's for the, this Banana Splits film, that's really how I came to it. I was a huge fan of these characters. I remember drawing these characters when I was little. So I've kind of taken that along with me in my career. Why would they want to do like a horror version of it? I mean, I mean, I freaking love it. I think it's probably me. I don't think it's they. I okay. think it's me. <laughs> uh, well, through the through the years in my career, I've done a preschool version of the Banana Splits. I've done a six to eleven year old version of the Banana Splits, and now there's not an adult version of the Banana Splits, but there is a genre version of the Banana Splits. So, and it's similar to what we do with other franchise characters like Scooby Doo or Batman. You know, I've done I've done preschool Batman, I've done six to eleven Batman, I've done rated R Batman animated films. So why not with the banana splits? First off, congratulations on Toronto Raptors, man. Because I'm a huge sports fan, I was pulling for you guys. You know, what, so where were you? How did you celebrate? I was in uh, Sherman Oaks. Uh, the tradition for me this season was to be turn my phone off be completely like my son and I were like watching it and that was it I didn't go out I was invited so many times to go out to bars someone's house the moment I left my house they would always either be behind or they would have lost the game so I was like I gotta stay home sorry I buckled down Cool. Yeah, hey, it works, and know? now I'm wearing the silly hat. Nah, awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sweet. So uh, you voiced three of the characters in Blaine Smith's movie. Now you voiced a lot of characters that people are already familiar with. So it wasn't probably like, and eh, no big deal for this one. Right? 
Oh man, a big deal indeed. I because I'd never tried voicing uh, like Paul a Paul Winchell character or you know Daz Butler or Don Messick, Alan Melvin. These are all titans of voiceover, and and they didn't want to veer at all from these characters. So it was definitely like a challenge. But to be a voice in a horror movie, I was up for it. I was gonna say, is this your first time voicing in a horror movie? Yes, I th- I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Hopefully, it's more. Uh, hey, man! If if it does well on on Blu-ray, uh, we might see a sequel. Who knows? All right, everyone, <laughs> buy it digitally and Blu-ray. Thank you so much, man.